Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to go over several journal, journal articles that support hydrogen working as a combustion aid in gasoline and diesel engines to improve emissions and engine efficiency. First I'm going to go through several papers showing uh, bottled hydrogen uh, studies that were conducted uh, showing these effects in engines. The first study is out of a university in uh, Babylon, Iraq. This study looked at uh, hydrogen ethanol blends uh, and the effect on performance and pollution emissions. The tests were performed using 2%, 4%, 6%, 8%, and 10% and 12% mass hydrogen ethanol blends. The results show that supplemental hydrogen in the ethanol air mixture improves the combustion process and hence improves the combustion efficiency, expands the range of combustibility of the ethanol fuel, increases the power, reduces the specific fuel consumption, and reduces toxic emissions. The important improvement of hydrogen addition is to reduce the specific fuel com combustion or consumption, specific fuel consumption of ethanol engines. And this paper was out of the journal Renewable Energy. The next paper is by the same authors and it's titled Performance Study of a Four-Stroke Spark Ignition Engine Working with Both Hydrogen and Ethanol as Supplemental Fuels. The, in this study, the addition of 8% mass of hydrogen with 30 percent volume of ethanol alcohol into a gasoline engine operating at a 9 compression ratio and 1500 rpm caused a 48.5 reduction in CO emissions, 31.1 percent reduction in NOx emissions, and 58.5 percent reduction in specific fuel consumption. Moreover, the engine's thermal efficiency and power output increased in one case by 10 percent and another case by 4.72 percent. And this study, this paper was published in the International Journal of Hydrogen Energy. This next paper by University of Windsor in Canada showed improvement in this study uh, they, they titled it Effects of Addition of Electrolysis Products on Methane Air Premix Laminar Combustion. This study, uh, the primary work in this study was done with a uh, Kim Kin Kinetic Simulation Software Package. By uh, inputting the addition of 10% hydrogen and oxygen mixture, which would be in the proportion of what would be in electrolysis products. They found that improvements in the flame speed of methane air mixtures by the addition of 10% hydrogen and its associated oxygen were equivalent to the improvements obtained by the addition of 20% hydrogen alone. And this paper was published in the International Journal of Hydrogen Energy. Next paper is produced by, or is uh, published in the International Journal of Hydrogen and Energy by the same University of Windsor in Canada. Uh, this paper is titled The Addition of Hydrogen to a Gasoline Fueled SI Engine. They found that added, the added hydrogen resulted in improved work output and a reduction in burn duration and cycle to cycle variation while operating under lean conditions. next paper uh, was published by a university in Hong Kong and it's titled Formation and Restraint of Toxic Emissions in Hydrogen Gasoline Mixture Fueled Engines. They found a, that a little amount of hydrogen supplemented to the gasoline air mixture can extend, extend the flammability of the mixture, increase the rate of flame propagation, accelerate the burning velocity of lean mixture, 
thus improving the economy and emissions of engines and enhancing thermal efficiency. These papers support uh, using hydrogen and that it does uh, improve uh, combustion and thus improve efficiency and reduce emissions of, in engines. Now I'm going to go through several papers. The general question is, okay, hydrogen improves combustion, but can you do it by a, a onboard electrolysis process? And I'd like to present several papers that looked at this. The first paper, published in the International Journal of Hydrogen Energy, is titled Fuel Economy Improvement by an Onboard Electrolytic Hydrogen Production. This paper was published by Kokali University in Turkey. This study, they uh, replicated a patent of a hydrogen cell. And here's the diagram of the cell. Technical information for this cell. They supplied maximum gas supply of 20 liters per hour, which comes out to be 333 liters per, milliliters per minute. They used a carbon cathode and a platinum anode. They used 90 volts and 3 amps. And they used normal tap water with no electrolyte. In this study, the system was installed in four cars in order to in demonstrate its effect on fuel emissions. These cars are a 93 Volvo, a 96 Mercedes, a 92 Fiat, and another 92 Fiat. The driving tests were performed under city traffic conditions and on the Volvo they found a reduction of 43% in fuel consumption. In the Mercedes, they found a reduction of 36% in fuel consumption. The first Fiat, they found a 26 reduction, 26% 26 reduction in fuel consumption. And the other Fiat, they found a reduction of 33% in fuel consumption. Emissions tests also showed that the exhaust emissions such as carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and hydrocarbons are not negatively are not affected negatively by the system. Moreover, these emissions reduce to a margin of 40 to 50 percent over the range of the vehicles. And the conclusion from this study was, therefore, without altering any performance criteria, the system yields 35 to 40% fuel savings and reduces exhaust emissions. And again, this paper was published in the International Journal of Hydrogen Energy and the study was conducted in the year 2000 at Kokali University in Turkey.